Hi guys, it's Jilly Hunt here with a rather pretty little pastel bauble card for you today. And scattered around the table I've got some of the things that you're going to need to make this. Don't forget that if you go to jillyhunt.com and do your shopping, you're supporting me. I get a small amount of commission as I'm a stamping up independent demonstrator. And I'd be very grateful because it means I'm keen to continue to do the videos to show you. Okay, so those are the things we're going to need. And let's just put some of these things to the side and then we'll get going at making things. And the first thing we're going to need is our cardstock. And we're going to need, here we go, a landscape card, which is five by three and a half. And then we're also going to need a coloured piece of paper and a white piece of card and a scrap, which is just big enough for the baubles. So let's keep that scrap and let's keep that central piece that we're going to need. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to heat emboss. So we need some heat embossing powder and it comes in a little jar like this and I tend to put mine into a tub. And I'm saying we need to get this ready. I'm going to just put mine off camera just for a moment so I've got enough room to work with. But we need it ready to go as soon as we're um, inked up and, and ready to start because we, what we don't want is any of our images to dry out. So the first thing we need to do is take the embossing buddy and this is filled with chalk and we are going to rub this all over our cardstock that we're going to use. Why? Well, because the cardstock itself may have some static. Um, if it's all kept somewhere very dry, it sometimes gets static. Um, but also it will often get oils from our fingers and it doesn't matter how dry you think your fingers are or how clean you think your fingers are. We all have oils in our skin and those oils will uh, attract the powder unless we get rid of them. So that's what the embossing buddy does. We've now got those hopefully nice and oil free. We're going to bring in the, the Versamark um, which is a sticky substance like an ink but it's actually a sticky substance that sticks to the um, powder when we bring the powder back in and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the text and it says and be jolly this season well I don't want and be jolly this season I just want it to say be jolly this season so the first thing I'm going to do is to take a post-it note and I'm just going to take off one of the sticky top pieces and I'm going to use it to stick, I'll show you carefully here, over the ampersand and here. So I don't want this and to show up at all. I want the B, jolly, but I don't want this and. So there we go. I'm going to stick it over that, but not over the B, jolly. And I'm now going to ink this up just as if it was an ordinary ink pad. And I'm going to take off the sticky pad the sticky note and that way all of the stamp will be sticky but the and will now be dry it won't have absorbed any of the ink hopefully and we're going to pop this in the corner okay and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ink up just in the same way on the spare piece of paper the scrap piece of paper and we're going to ink up a large and a small bauble Let me just put the top back on the Versamark. We don't want it drying out. Okay, and we're going to bring back our powder and we're going to tip our powder straight away onto those where we have put our sticky ink. Okay, and this way you just have to be a bit careful not to put your fingers in it. Okay, oops, that one hasn't got quite enough. Can you see it's not, it's not quite as strong? So there we go little bit of extra powder and we're just flicking it with our finger like this to get rid of any little tiny dots of powder because we don't want any little dots of powder okay and we're going to bring it in the heat gun here we go and we're going to if you give the, the noise now I'll try and shout over it <coughs> we're going to 
just heat from underneath. Now you're thinking, well that's strange, we saw her do this the other day on a video and she heated from above. I, I used the gun like this from above. Um, but today I'm going to use it from underneath and I'll explain why. The reason is that both of these images are quite intricate. This one's got quite a filigree design to it and if you heat from underneath what will happen is the ink is a little bit smoother when it melts. I'm calling it ink, I don't know what to call it, what else to call it. It's the first mark with the powder on top. Um, but whatever you want to call it, it will just melt a little bit smoother if it's done from underneath, so the gun is underneath. And I also particularly want to be particularly careful with this one because if you look, we've got some very tiny words. The bee this season, the jolly's nice and big, but the bee this season are quite delicate and we want those to be smoother and sharper and that's why we do it from underneath. Okay? Right, so let's get this cut out and ready to go. Here's the good news, you don't have to cut all these baubles out individually because we have some wonderful punches. So here goes with the punch and these are designed specifically to go with this stamp set. And out they pop. There's the one. And here's the larger one. Excuse my hand being in the way. There we go. And now we've cut those out, we just need to give them, if I go back to the original, I can't remember which colour I showed you. Ha <laughs> ha, we might have changed colour. Um, we want to just give this a little blushy edge. Okay, so I'm going to come in with a acrylic block. I usually do this on a, um, I often work on a glass mat actually, um, but the glass mat doesn't show up very well when I'm filming. So I like to have an acrylic block for this or a glass mat. And I used, to, I like to tap a little bit of ink into the corner to use. Now, why don't I just take my sponge and sponge it off the surface of the ink pad? Well, the reason for me is that then I get little pieces of sponge, maybe, flaking into my ink. Um, I also get a little dry patch which although I can use the refills to fill that back up again, um, if I do that what happens is that um, I get just an inconsistency on the ink. So if I just use the edge of the pad onto a, a block I can then pick the ink up from that block. And all I'm going to do is whirl around. Now can you see I'm making circular motions with my sponge. OK, so I've got my sponge gripped in my hand and I'm just making circular motions and I am not going to do anything without circling. So as I circle, I'm going to gradually come onto my piece of card that's been embossed and cut out as my bauble. And I want it to just continue to be circles. And then I'm going to come still circling right away. That way what I get is a really beautiful, soft, delicate edge. I don't get a harsh edge. Okay. If I went and started in the middle, I'd have a little patch where there was more ink. If I stop in the middle, I would have a patch with more ink. I don't want that, so I want to just circle around, circle around, circle around. If I want it a bit darker, I'll pick up a little tiny bit more ink as I'm going along. And I will just circle onto it. Keep that circle action going. Don't stop just because you hit the edge of the card and then circle away. Now, if I want to put a bit more darker edged even so, I might pick up some more of that ink and I might just come in and just do a little bit on that edge. Okay, Ooh, I nearly lost my circle movement there. And I'm going to just do a little tiny bit more on there. Okay, that way we've got two lovely blush edged baubles. Now let's put the whole thing together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Wink of Stella pen, because who doesn't like a bit of glimmer, glamour and glitz at Christmas time? And we're just going to let the brush sit on the edge 
and tack along and slowly but surely out will come some nice shimmer. Now mine is getting a little bit overused this Christmas so it's not it's not pacing quite as well as it normally does. Um, I think sadly I'm going to have to order myself some more. Um, but what we want is a nice glimmery shimmery edge okay and I'm not going to do all of that and show you because I'm sure you can work out how to do this yourself. That's then going to go onto your base card and then if I bring in the final cards or well, let's do it in the same colour that would be better wouldn't it? Okay we're then going to bring back our background card and we're going to add with a bit of glue our two baubles and it's as simple as that and I'm now going to show you the two or three that I've all done in different colours so here's our Highland Heather, here's our Mint Macaron and last but not least we have our Petal Pink. I hope you've enjoyed that, thank you very much, bye bye.